right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more news content, and let's just get right into it. Uh, Twitch TV, major data breach going on today. It's crazy over there right now, man. If you're over there and you're on the site, make sure you go ahead and change the password because, like they said, we don't know how far this data breach goes. But what we do know, uh, per The Verge, is hackers have so far leaked data that includes the source code of the company's streaming service, an unreleased Steam competitor uh, from Amazon Gaming Studios, and details of creators' payouts. So we're learning how much money people are making and all of this good stuff. An anonymous poster on the 4chan messaging board released a 125 gig torrent earlier today, which claims to include the entirety of the Twitch and its commit history. And like I said, man, that's crazy. Now, Twitch's official word on this, we're gonna throw it up on the screen right here. Their official word is this, we can confirm a breach has taken place. Our term, I mean, our teams are working with urgency to understand the extent of this. We will update the community as soon as additional information is available. Thank you for bearing with us. Like I said, looking at the site, looking at, for, uh, looking at the verge and everything, I'm just saying we don't know how deep this data breach goes. They're saying that this is part one of a part of, I mean, this is part one of an attack. And like they said, suggesting that there could be more to come. While personal information like creator, uh, creator payments is included, the initial leak doesn't appear to include passwords, addresses, or, or email account uh, information. So they're saying that we safe, but if they, I mean, I couldn't imagine that they're just looking for, looking to see, well, I guess I could imagine that they're just looking in and just to see how much people are making and stuff like that. And if that's all that they're leaking, that's cool. I ain't make but two, five, uh, but, but two, uh, $25 uh, this this month anyway, so I can buy me a couple of cheeseburgers and I'll buy a couple of you guys a cheeseburger or, or two, something like that. But what I'm saying is the major, major information, I don't think anybody's really worried that much about people knowing how much they actually made. I think the biggest issue is we are worried if you're leaking the passwords, our addresses. Uh, a lot of people got PO boxes and stuff like that set up, so they're not really worried about it, but passwords, email addresses, home addresses, all that stuff. We don't want people to be getting getting randomly swatted and stuff like that because of something that happened on Twitch. And uh, like I said, it's not clear how much data has been accessed, accessed though. Twitch is working, uh, working with, with working to understand the security breach is what they're saying. A lot of us got two-factor authentication anyway, so it's gonna be really hard for somebody to breach all the way through. I've already changed my password. I feel like you guys should do the same. But the main thing is we don't know how deep this rabbit hole goes. We don't know how much data uh, they actually have, and we don't know if there's gonna be a part two of the attack. <sighs> I, I just don't know what to say. Y'all, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section we have another article here and um and they're just talking about the leak as well and uh what they're saying about i'm gonna throw it up on the screen here and it just says twitch data leak reveal the supposed earnings of the top streamers and one of the biggest things that they're talking about so they dropped the they dropped the earnings of the top 100 streamers and how much they make and i'm not gonna lie these are some gaudy numbers um what people are making, what they're pulling. Obviously, they're saying Aiden Ross is 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 in the two comma club on a monthly basis or something like that. You go figure that out. I'm not gonna tell you how much people are making. It's easy enough for y'all to Google that and look it up on the internet and all that good stuff. So I'm, I'm not gonna tell you how much people are actually making. I'm not gonna show it on the screen or what have you. But one thing that they're talking about, cause you know, you can never take, never, never risk, never waste an opportunity for some social justice or what have you right here. So it just says, What's more, what's more, the leak reveals a distinct lack of diversity in the top earners. Men dominated, in fact, of the 20, of the 20, of the top 20, all men. Pokemon at 39 on the on this particular list is the highest earning woman on the platform. We already know Pokemon gonna be, she gonna be up there. Uh, the majority of the streamers are, are also white and don't publicly identify as part of the LGBT community. That's, that's, I mean, that's not like, it, it, but that's nothing that Twitch is doing. I, I definitely want to talk about this too before we get up out of here though. Uh, the leak certainly highlights the, the disparity between those, uh, those highest earning streamers at the top of the platform and, uh, and marginalized streamers at the other end. You know, what have you, what have you, whatever. I, I feel like, listen, man, I, I don't think that that has anything to do with Twitch though. That's just how people identify with and stuff like that, man. So I, I guess, I guess that's nothing like, that's not anything revealing. It's like, if most of the 
viewers of the platform are of a certain gender and a certain race, they're probably gonna watch the people that most closely they identify with. So they're probably gonna watch their gender and their race. Unless you like, you know, like you watching Exo Hydra or something like that. I don't know, man. Like I, I really have no idea. But I, I think that that's something that they just threw in there just for social purpose, social justice purposes or what have you. But I don't think it had any place in this article. Um, I don't think it's like, it's not saying that you can't come up on Twitch if you're not of a certain demographic. It's just saying that that's most of the, to me, it's just saying that's most of the viewing audience. And so they're just going to identify with who, with the people whom they are most closely identified. That's me. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, like I said, big data breach on Twitch. They got hacked. Um, I guess I already changed my password and stuff like that, just in case this is, this is something that I need to be worried about or what have you. Uh, hopefully our email and stuff is secure. And we're going to holler at y'all next time, man. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town.